In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to paint skin tones. So I get this message quite a lot, asked how to paint different skin tones. So we're gonna paint a few. There's obviously a whole lot more, but it's just a fun way to get creative. And skin tones are a little bit more simple than you would think. A lot of people struggle with them. So I'm really excited to give you this tutorial. So if you're ready, let's dive in. All right, so I'm grabbing my size six brush and for skin tones, we have a whole slew of different colors and shades. And I mean, how boring would life be if we were all the same color and shape and size? So we're gonna mix up a few different shades and colors. I'm gonna start with a light tone and then I'm gonna work through a value scale. So this is gonna teach you how to go from light to dark with watercolor. So no matter if you're mixing up skin tones or not, um, you can learn that. And then it's also gonna teach you how to mix up skin tones. So for my base, I'm gonna start with yellow ochre and a touch of opera rose. And a lot of water. The more water you add to watercolor, the lighter it becomes because it's being diluted. But you do wanna be careful when you have a really watery mixture of paint, when you do go to add it to your paper, it's going to be really thick with water. So you wanna make sure to blot your what you have on your brush on your paper towel, towel before you go to your paper. So I'm blotting. And then I'm just gonna to go to this left area here and paint one face, which is just gonna be an oval. So we're just doing these like cute, quirky faces for this piece. We're not getting realistic. So now I'm just gonna thicken the mixture with the same two colors. So a little yellow ochre and off a rose. But now I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow ochre and a touch of burnt umber. Getting slightly darker, touch of black. And we can lighten that too by just swashing our brush off in our water cup and blotting to get rid of excess. Putting our next face down, leaving a little bit of space between the two so we can put some hair. Once these layers dry, we'll put some hair on top. And now instead of going back to my yellow ochre and my opera rose, I'm now just gonna be going back to my burnt umber and Mars black to darken. Some faces have peachy undertones, some are yellow undertones, some are blue undertones. So we're just kind of going with the flow as we mix these up. I'm gonna lighten that a little bit before I get too dark. So because I have more black in this mixture, it kind of has like a grayish brown, smoky brown. A little bit more burnt umber. A little bit more Mars black. Maybe just a touch of Prussian blue. And one more face, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more.
All right, there we have our little faces. Now I'm just gonna wait for these to dry, grab my size two brush, and we're gonna add some hair and some little facial expressions. All right, so we have our fun face tones here, um, different shades and colors. So I'm also gonna do some funky hairstyles too, cause why not? So maybe we've got kind of a curly surfer situation with this first face with some lemon yellow deep and yellow ochre. Or actually, I want some pink hair on this guy. Just kidding. Opera Rose and some Scarlet Lake. You can choose whatever you want to for your hair, but I'm gonna show you a few different hairstyles. So with my size two brush, I'm just grabbing, you can do blue, you can do black, you can do brown, blonde. Blonde would be just some lemon yellow deep and a little touch of yellow ochre for that sandy color. Um, but let's do a little bob. So I'm just gonna come from the middle of the oval with little to no pressure and then add pressure. And then do the same thing on the other side. Fun middle part. <laughs> so this is a fun way to show off your personality and quirkiness. You can be less quirky, you can be more quirky, you can get crazy with your hairstyles. Pink hair. Let's do the bun. So for a bun, I'm gonna start on the sideburns for a thin stroke and then add Thickness at the top, and then get thin again. And then just do this little top knot situation. Let's do some yellow hair. A little bit of yellow ochre with the lemon yellow deep. Let's do some curly hair. So I'm just gonna use the point of my brush and bring it around for some swirls. There's that one. I want to do like a blue gray. So I'm going to bring some Prussian blue in here, some black, and then I'm going to release a lot of that pigment off in my water cup to make it super light and blot the excess. And do kind of this longer hair. It's really fun painting to do with kids to let them be really creative, bring some color to their life. Last but not least, let's do some light brown hair. Put this one. Burnt umber and yellow ochre. And let's do Maybe we do a ponytail. Like 
that. And now you can leave it like this, where the, the, the faceless, um, like no eyes or mouth, or you can do with just some black paint and your size two brush, I'm just gonna do some little expressions. Just using the tip of my brush for different, different faces. There you have it. We have some fun, five cute faces. They're all making some fun expression. Um, some are maybe singing because their mouths are like the Charlie Brown face. They're like, oh, anyway. <laughs> you can get really funky with their hairstyles like I did or, you know, whatever floats your boat. Hope you love this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you found it challenging, if something was eye-opening for you, I'd love to know what resonated with you and what you learned from this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.